Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be now requesting Srinivasan sir to present the welcome address, but before that, a short introduction of sir. Mr. G. Srinivasan is the director of National Insurance Academy since December 2018. Before joining NIA, sir had worked in the non-life insurance business for 39 years, both in India and abroad. Between 2012 and 18, he was the CMD of New India Assurance Company Limited, which is the largest uh, non-life insurance uh, in the country. Prior to this, from 2007 to 2012, sir was CMD of United India Insurance Company. He has also been the managing director and chief executive officer of New India Assurance Company, Trinidad and Tobago, for over four years. Earlier in his career, sir had held the position of chairman of both the General Insurance Council and the General Insurance Public Sector Association. He has served on the governing boards of a variety of organizations, both in India and abroad. In addition to the panels that have been established by IFSCA Gandhinagar, he is also a member of a number of committees that have been established by IRDAI, including Insurance Advisory Committee. Mr. Srinivasan served as president of the Insurance Institute of India in addition to his other roles. During his long career, he has won, won many awards, such as Personality of the Year from Singapore's Asia Insurance Industry Awards, an icon of the profession from India's Institute of Cost Accountants. The Institute of Directors has also awarded him with the fellowship. A graduate in commerce from Madras University, sir is a member of the Institute of Cost Accountants of India and the Insurance Institute of India. With this brief introduction, I request you, sir, to please present the welcome address. Good morning to all of you and a hearty welcome to the Insurance Summit. Mr. Dabashish Panda, respected chairman of IRDAI, Mr. Saurabh Mishra, Joint Secretary of Ministry of Finance, Mr. M. R. Kumar, Chairperson of LIC of India, Mr. Devesh Srivastava, CMD of GIC of India and Chairman of NA Governing Board, Chair Professors of National Insurance Academy, speakers in various panels, leaders of the insurance industry, students and my colleagues of National Insurance Academy, media, ladies and gentlemen. I have great pleasure in welcoming you to the 18th Insurance Summit of National Insurance Academy. I'm really glad to see a huge participation of industry leaders in the summit. This summit we are doing offline after two years and I'm really happy to see the enormous welcome of the industry to the summit. The theme of the summit is very relevant and timely, namely broadening the horizon, navigating towards a fully insured India. I'm sure that deliberations today will add a huge amount of knowledge to this important aspect and will throw out various policy initiatives which can be taken towards deepening insurance penetration in India. The context is also the vision of the government and chairman IIDAI to make sure that insurance reaches everyone adequately in the quickest possible time and make India a fully insured society at the earliest possible time. Uh, friends, we all know that IRDAI has initiated a series of measures to increase insurance awareness, to facilitate insurers to focus on insurance penetration by enhancing ease of doing business, focusing on digital and technology, and make insurance sector adopt some of the global best practices. And I must really compliment the chairman IRDAI in creating a huge amount of positivity in the insurance sector in such a short span of time with huge reforms. I'm confident the insurance sector will rise to the occasion and deliver on the vision of chairman and as well as the government in growing the sector and ensure people are benefited by insurance products. We are all aware that insurance penetration and density in India are clearly low at this point of time. In life insurance, while the sector has covered a large number of people, the challenge is they're not adequately insured. The mortality protection gap in life insurance was US $17 trillion a couple of years back, which is one of the highest in the world. In case of non-life, the penetration is very low, around 1%, and density is too low to talk about. We have seen in natural catastrophes, the protection gap is as high as 90%, which in effect means that people are extremely vulnerable to economic shocks. The pandemic has clearly underlined the need for insurance as a risk management tool, both for businesses as well as individuals. Low penetration, friends, as we know, is largely due to low awareness, 
inertia of the people, complexity of insurance, and finally on inadequate trust of people and insurance sector as whether it would deliver uh, solutions to them when they have a problem. We have seen insurance underpenetration cut across the society and is very high whether the person is literate or illiterate, whether the person is rich or poor, or whether the person is in rural or urban areas. It's something which cuts across the whole society. We at National Insurance Academy have embarked on a huge project on studying the insurance protection gap in India, reasons and solutions with support of Marsh India and Swiss Re. This study is across all lines of business. We hope this study will present various solutions to the policymakers to act upon. As part of the study, we just completed an insurance hackathon in collaboration with India InsurTech Association. We're also bringing out a book in the course of this inaugural containing articles written by industry leaders on the theme of uh, protection gap. NA is at the foremost institution on insurance education and research and has been striving its best to contribute to the growth of insurance sector in India. We train every year about 6,000 insurance professionals in various facets of insurance. We also contribute young talent to the insurance sector. I am proud to say that our young alumni are playing a key role in reshaping the face of Indian insurance sector. We also just released a background paper on insurance mutuals and we hope this research would be useful to the policymakers. We'll continue to engage in cutting edge research on areas related to insurance sector, and thereby contribute to economic growth. I thank IIDA chairman for taking his time off to participate in this summit. I also thank Mr. Saur Mishra, Joint Secretary, Ministry of Finance, Mr. M. R. Kumar, uh, Chairperson LIC, and Mr. Devesh Srivatswaj, CMD of New, uh, GICD, uh, our governing board members, uh, and all other industry leaders and students for attending this summit. I once again welcome you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for such a warm welcome.